Hi, and welcome to another week's episode of Fun With Hobbies. This week, I'm getting a little bit more out there, and I'm going to be showing you how to sew together a quick salad using mostly pre-cut, pre-prepared ingredients, um, and including this month's superfood star, our strawberries. Strawberries and a salad? I know, but go with it. So to start with, grab a bag of leafy salad mix. Um, I've gone for watercress spinach and rocket. I like baby spinach. Watercress and rocket that they give, they're going to give a slight spiciness to the salad to off balance the sweetness and the smokiness. So you want to grab a couple of handfuls of that into the base of your salad bowl. To get started that's your beautiful base. Okay. You're then going to take your chopping board. You want about two inches of cucumber that's been sliced. Um, I then I'll go down to do that into four, put it into quarters. Then let's scatter the cucumber over the top of our leafy mix. I like the cucumber for crunch, basically. That, that's its, its main function in salads for me is crunchy, crunchy, crunch. If you excuse me, I've got a fork and I'm going to need one. Hold music. One fork. Um, Right, next thing is a grain. Um, this is optional, so if you're going really low carb, leave grain out, but I'm, I'm trying to include more things like this into my diet. Um, so we're getting a packet of pre-cooked quinoa, which we can use from cold. Um, so we want to squeeze the pouch to separate the grains. And then tear off, oh this actually wasn't easy to tear, and then it's about half the packet, so I'm just going to make a nice bed of quinoa in the middle of my bowl. Just like that. Is that about half the packet? Oh, let's have a bit more. There you go, I think that's about half the packet now. We've then got some lovely grains with some extra protein then we're going to take our main protein source which is smoked mackerel fillets i've got ones that are caught in the wild from certified sustainable seafood so i'm hoping that means they, they don't leave their plastic everywhere because that's obviously a huge environmental concern um, I find over here it's as economical to get pre-cooked fillets like this as it is to get it in a can. Um, it's interchangeable, both will work for this recipe. And then you just want to peel the skin off the back of your fillet. Usually it comes off quite easily. I should have pre-peeled. Today it's coming off in pieces. Now mackerel um, is a good source of omega 3 so it's one of your oily fishes that is recommended. You have one to two portions a week depending on whether you're female and trying to conceive. Um, so this will provide you with omega 3s. I'm just going to lay that nicely over the top there and then I'm going to take our strawberries And I've held, they, they've already held, so I have the top sliced off. And then we're just going to slice down the side of them. And I'm going to take 100 grams of strawberries, get plenty of the vitamin C in here, plenty of manganese. For the minute, it's escaping me what else strawberries have. They have a bit of copper, a bit of iron. Um, but yeah, they're main 
sauces, vitamin C. Um, slicey, slicey, slice, slicey, slicey, slice. And then we're just going to arrange the strawberries very artfully around the edges. I say very artfully, I'm not very artful. So. It's very colourful. It's a new thing for me to mix um, savoury and sweet and to be putting fruit in salads, but it works with strawberries. So I couldn't resist to love strawberries. But now we're going to make a dressing. Um, and you could, I guess, toss the leaves in it to start with. This is a smallish bowl. This isn't the best salad type bowl. Um, but I don't like a lot of dressing. I just like to dribble it over for flavour. So I'm going to take balsamic vinegar. And I'm going to do a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar into my little glass bowl. I love balsamic vinegar. Well, don't go cheap when it comes to balsamic. Go for as expensive as you can get. Actually, no, that's a lie. Go for as high quality as you can get. You want it, this is quite funny. The thicker you can get it, the better. I used to have one that was as thick as syrup. And that was amazing. And then I'm using maple syrup. You could use honey. You could use golden syrup, but I like maple. Um, it's very, you very often find maple smoked fish and stuff, so it goes very well with smoked fish. Um, and the sweetness sets off the smokiness quite well, so we're going to just pop in one teaspoon of maple syrup, because I don't want it to be too sweet. And we're going to mix together our dressing. And make sure that the maple syrup is very well blended with our balsamic vinegar. And then a little finger dip taste test. Mm. Yeah. You see that's just sweet enough to break through the acid and it's still acidic enough to break through the fat and it'll just go beautifully with the smokiness of the fish I found at the Moscan. So I'm then going to take this and just dribble it over the top of our salad. Get it through the grains, through the quinoa, over the strawberries. Balsamic vinegar and strawberries are just delicious. So I, you know, just douse. Not doubt, well, yeah, douse. Douse strawberries and balsamic vinegar and maple syrup for a, a different dessert. So, and then you're ready, and I'm gonna just try a bit here with all of you watching. Try and get a bit of everything. So, you've got the fish, you've got the salad leaves, you've got the grains, you've got the strawberry. A lot of stress in the mouth. Mm. Now, that. That's good. And you cannot tell me that that is a boring salad. So enjoy. I'll see you all in another week for another week's episode of Fun With Whole Foods. Mmm. Yum. Yeah.